the president's youngest child recently accompanied his parents on a trip to Alabama. Compared with his older half-siblings, Baron Trump, who just turned 13 on March 20, has mostly stayed out of the political spotlight. Here is what you need to know about the youngest member of the Trump clan. Barron recently accompanied his parents on a trip to Alabama. The president and first lady and their son left Washington DC and flew to Alabama on March 8. Donald Trump was there to tow tornado damage in rural Lee County, where 23 people died on Sunday. Trump said he expected to meet with Governor K.I.V. and people who got hit very hard by the tornadoes. By mid-afternoon, the first family is expected to depart the region and continue on to Palm Beach, Florida where they will spend the weekend at the president's private club, Mare Lego. Melania Trump shared that she has spoken to Barron about drugs. As part of the First Ladies, Be Best, campaign, Melania is participating in a series of town hall meetings about the opioid crisis. Where she is speaking out about the need to educate children about the dangers of drug abuse. In one such meeting in Las Vegas on March 6, she mentioned that she has discussed the issues with Baron. I teach him, said Melania. I try to explain how drugs are dangerous and it will mess up your head, it will mess up your body and nothing comes positive out of it. Baron is not frequently photographed. He is most commonly spotted boarding Air Force One to travel with his parents, as he was here en route to Palm Beach. Last year, the Trumps spent the Thanksgiving weekend in Florida at Mare Lego. When 12-year-old Baron got off the plane with his parents, he appeared to be as tall as his father. Last April, he had made a rare public appearance at the annual White House egg roll. Baron hung back with his parents and watched his younger nieces and nephews race off to hunt for eggs. Baron is the first boy to live in the White House since JFK Jr. The three most recent presidents, Obama, Bush, and Clinton, have been fathers only to girls. While other presidents since JFK's time have had sons, they have all been adults who lived outside of the White House. He is making history by attending St. Andrew's Episcopal School. While every president's child over the past 35 years has attended C-12 Friends, the White House has confirmed Baron is attending Street. Andrews in Potomac, Maryland. He is the first presidential child to do so. In a statement, Melania praised the school for its diverse community and commitment to academic excellence. His main interest is apparently sports. In November of last year, the First Lady spoke at a forum at Liberty University, the institution founded by Jerry Falwell in Lynchburg, Virginia that has been crucial in shoring up Donald Trump's support on the religious right. Melania was there to raise awareness about the opioid epidemic as part of her Be Best initiative and she shared a few details about her family's life in the White House. She shared that Baron is not on social media and that he is all into sports. That said, in the lead up to Super Bowl Sunday this year, President Trump said he'd have a hard time with letting his son play football. I just don't like the reports that I see coming out having to do with football, 
President Trump said. I thought the equipment would get better, and it has. The helmets have gotten far better but it hasn't solved the problem. He is fluent in both English and Slovene. Thanks to his Slovenian mother, Melania. Baron is really tall. When's the last time you saw a 7th grader nearly as tall as his dad and former model mom? While Baron's official height isn't publicly available. Photos show he is only a few inches shorter than 6'2", President Trump and near the height of 5'11", Melania, without her ever-present heels, anyway. He and his mother took their time moving to the White House. After months of living in New York City with his mom, Barron finally made the move to Washington, D.C. In June, halfway through the president's first year in office. First Lady Melania Trump confirmed the news with a tweet saying, Looking forward to the memories we'll make in our new home. Moving the, and a photo presumably taken out one of the White House windows of the Washington Monument. The White House may actually be a downgrade. In his parents' Trump Tower penthouse, Barron had a whole floor to himself, which his mother referred to as, Barron's living room. What does a nine-year-old do with his own living room? We may never know. Also unknown, exactly how much it cost the New York City taxpayers to protect Melania and Barron during their time in Manhattan, making the decision to stay behind a controversial one. Breaking news it cost more than $1 million per day to provide security for President Trump and his family while he was still living in New York after the election.